Now this is a uh, question on complex number and this is an excellence question at uh, NC level 3. Uh, so let's read the question. The question is like this. Let Z, which is R cos theta plus I sine theta be a non-zero complex number in the modulus argument form. Prove that Z plus 1 over Z is real if and only if Z is real or modulus of Z is 1. So basically what we want to prove is if Z is real, Z plus 1 over Z is going to be real. Or if Z is, if modulus of Z is 1, then also this is going to be real. So let's write Z as it is given in the modulus. So let me use a lighter color. So Z is given to be uh, R cos theta plus I sine theta. So let's expand this out. So if we expand it out, we can get Z is equal to R cos theta plus R I sine theta. Okay, so let's take the first condition. So condition A says, if Z is real, what does that mean? If Z is real, means there is no uh, imaginary part. This implies your I is going to be zero. There is no imaginary part. That is what it means. So if Z is real, this given complex number can be written as Z is equal to R cos theta. Because Z is real. So this implies Z plus 1 over Z is going to be cos theta plus 1, sorry, R cos theta plus 1 over R cos theta. So let's stop and think. Now, R is a real number. Cos theta is a real number. So basically, what are we saying? Well, we can say this is going to be real. This is real because R is a real number. R is the radius. And cos theta is between uh, plus 1 and minus 1. So basically, this is going to be real, and this is also real. So if you've got a real number plus a real number, so that's going to be real. Okay, so that's first part is proved. So let's take the second part. What if modulus of, so say, if, the second condition, if, if modulus of z is equal to 1? What does that mean? Modulus of z is 1, so uh, let me explain. Suppose you have got this y axis, this, so this is the real arm, this is the real arm, and this is the imaginary arm. So this is a complex number z somewhere, yeah? It can be anywhere. So arbitrarily you can say z is equal to r cos theta plus r i sine theta. So, if suppose, so this means, if you use Pythagoras, so what we're saying is this is R cos theta. Using, this is adjacent, and this is hypotenuse, so this is theta, and this is radius. And this is, this part is, uh, this, you don't need to put R, I there, because I is telling you this is in the, on the y-axis. So we can say this is R i sine theta. So we can say this is R sine theta. I is only telling you that it's on the imaginary arm. So modulus of z can be written as that is using Pythagoras. That's going to be this is this is R. So this this distance is also can be stated as modulus of z. So modulus of z can be written as r squared r squared cos squared theta. Don't put the i because if you put i, the whole thing will get uh, because this will become minus plus r squared sine squared theta is equal to one. That's what it means. 
Okay, so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So this distance is r cos theta and this is r sine theta. So, so this is taking, so if you factor out the r squared, you have cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. And cos squared theta plus r sine squared is going to be 1. So this is square root of r squared is equal to 1, which implies r is equal to 1. So the radius is 1. So we, now we can say this implies, what does this imply? So you can say z becomes, in place of r you can put 1, so this is cos theta plus i sine theta. So the next step is the most difficult step. So let me drag it to this side. So what is z plus 1 over z? z plus 1 over z is going to be cos theta plus i sine theta plus 1 over cos theta plus i sine theta. Now this is from this step, the next step is the most difficult step or the crucial step. So yeah, so I want to simplify this term. So to simplify this, I have to multiply by the conjugate. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this, which is cos theta minus i sine theta. So let me drag it to this side, i sine theta. So if you multiply the denominator with cos theta minus i sine theta, I have to multiply the numerator by cos theta minus i sine theta. So what will happen? So this, you can say z plus 1 over z becomes, this is going to be cos theta plus i sine theta plus the numerator is going to be cos theta plus i sine theta divided by, if you expand this out, you're going to get cos squared theta, then you're going to get cos theta i cos theta sine theta, then you're going to get plus i cos theta sine theta. So ultimately, I think this is plus, sorry, this is plus, plus cos squared theta minus i squared sine squared theta. Now what is i squared? I hope you know i squared is negative 1. So now we can say, well, then z plus 1 over z is going to be cos theta plus i sine theta plus cos theta, I'll put this in the bracket, cos theta plus i sine theta divided by i squared is going to be, i squared is negative 1. So this is the important step. i squared is going to be negative 1. So the denominator will become cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. So this simplifies. So this is going to be 1. So And then if you simplify it, this is, this is minus, sorry this is minus. This is minus because here you got a minus here, sorry. So this is again, this is not plus, this is minus. So this is cos theta plus i sine theta plus cos theta minus i sine theta. So that is going to be 2 cos theta. And this is real. 2 cos theta is real. So basically, this is the most important step you don't cross multiply here. If you cross multiply, you'll get all confused. So you are multiplying by the conjugate, which is cos theta minus i sine theta. So, and the denominator will become cos squared minus i squared sine squared. And i, if you remember, uh, you should know i is square root of negative one, and i squared 
is negative 1. So that negative 1 will make this plus cos squared. And cos squared plus sine squared is 1. So the denominator will be no more. And the numerator, so this is plus i sine theta. And here you got minus i sine theta. They will get cancelled. So what remains is cos theta plus cos theta, which is 2 cos theta. So basically, if, let me recapitulate. So what we are saying is, if z is real, r is, z is going to be r cos theta. And then z plus 1 over z is going to be real. But when modulus of z is 1, your r squared is going to be 1. Okay, that means r is going to be 1. So this is z plus 1 over z is going to be real.